Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how you can uh, integrate uh, bottom navigation bar with uh, navigation component. So we're going to start a new project and uh, as you can see uh, we're going to remove this uh, default uh, text view and we are going to add the bottom navigation view. Okay so Android Studio will prompt us to add the dependency for that. So click yes and uh, wait until uh, Gradle finish uh, building your project. So next uh, we want to add the constraints to our bottom navigation view, uh, left, right and bottom. Okay, so uh, now for the layout width we're going to say uh, match parent and uh, for the layout height we're going to wrap content. Okay, so uh, for the background uh, we're going to use um, a white color instead of this uh, default black color so now uh, let's first uh, okay so now uh, go here on the resource manager and let's add the navigation uh, graph so the name for our navigation graph should be for example my nav okay and now android studio will prompt us to add uh, all the dependencies for the navigation component just click uh, ok and uh, after that we're going to start by adding uh, destinations so let's create the first uh, destination uh, in this project we're going to have uh, three different uh, destinations so, so the first destination will be named the uh, first fragment okay so let's create another one and the second destination should be named uh, second fragment okay just uh, do not include those uh, factory methods and uh, let's create uh, the last one third fragment okay click finish okay so uh, we are not going to connect uh, those three uh, destinations because uh, all of those three destinations will be top destinations so we will have three top uh, destinations and uh, our start screen uh, will be our first fragment okay so uh, now let's uh, add the navigation uh, host fragment okay and choose uh, select this navigation graph which we created and uh, let's connect those constraints left right top and bottom okay set them to zero all right and uh, next thing uh, what we're going to do uh, we're going to customize uh, those three um, layouts for our fragments so fragment first layout fragment second layout and fragment third layout so i'm going to speed up uh, this uh, a little bit uh, so basically uh, we're going to have uh, one text view on the center of the screen on uh, each of those uh, three layouts so uh, i'm going to do the same i'm going to just change the text to first fragment second fragment and the third fragment of course so we can uh, distinguish uh, those three destinations okay let's uh, just add the text text size and uh Fragment third layout as well, do the same thing. Okay, change the text and text size and uh, that's it. Okay, so now that we have um, created our layouts for our three destinations, uh, we can go to um, menu and uh, create a menu for our uh, navigation, bottom navigation view. So our menu resource file will be named the bottom menu and here we're going to have uh, three items, three menu items. So don't worry about this uh, preview uh, on the right side because uh, we're going to use this menu for our bottom navigation and not for uh, this one. Okay, so before we continue uh, editing our menu, let's first uh, add the three vector uh, icons. So the first icon will be for our first destination, which will be home. Okay, so the second, uh, let's choose another one. Uh, we're going to choose an uh, icon for our profile. So the profile will be, for our, will be for our second fragment. And the third one will be settings. The third fragment. Okay. Just click next and finish. And now uh, in our menu uh, we are going to link those uh, vector assets. So the first home item will have a, a home icon. The second one uh, will have a person or a profile icon. And the third one settings icon. So just let's uh, change the titles home profile and settings okay and now we need to add the IDs for those uh, three items and uh, basically uh, let's first open up a navigation graph and here we're going to select our first destination first fragment and uh, copy the ID so basically those items of ours will uh, link to our um, items from our navigation graph to our destinations so our menu items will have the same ID as our uh, destinations so first fragment second fragment and third fragment okay all right so now we have created our menu successfully and in our main activity layout uh, we want to add uh, 
our menu to our bottom navigation view. So just use this menu attribute and pass the bottom menu. As you can see now, those three icons appeared. So we can run the application to see how that how will that look. Okay, and as you can see, uh, we can see them, but uh, when we click on them, uh, nothing happens. So uh, what we need to do, uh, we need to initialize our bottom navigation view and our navigation controller and uh, merge them. So let's first create a bottom navigation view object and let's find the ID of, uh, of our view. So the ID is bottom navigation view. And next let's create a navigation controller uh, object and uh, let's find that uh, ID of our navigation controller. And the ID is a fragment. So basically navigation control is our uh, uh, nav host fragment. Okay. And uh, just below that, uh, we're going to uh, use a bottom navigation view object and its method uh, setup with nav controller, and we're going to pass nav controller here. So uh, now let's try navigating here, and as you can see, it uh, works perfectly fine. But there is a few more things which uh, we want to change, and when we uh, switch uh, from home to a person and uh, from person to settings, we want to change the uh, action bar title so to do that uh, we need to create a app bar configuration object okay and here we need to pass a set of three uh, destinations set of three top destinations so the first one is the first fragment and the second second fragment and the third uh, third fragment so we have a warning here uh, so we we need to change the compile option so open up a gradle build file and uh, here if you have this compile options uh, where it says 1.6 uh, you need to delete that and uh, you need to pass these compile options with a version uh, with a version of 1.8 and down below uh, kotlin options as well if you're using kotlin of course okay so now that we have that uh, sync your project and uh, go back to our main activity and uh, here down below we're going to use a method uh, set uh, setup action bar with nav controller and we're going to pass nav controller and app bar configuration and now let's run our application again to see how will that work. And now, uh, as you can see, we have fragment first, fragment second, and fragment third titles whenever we switch uh, to our destinations. But uh, if you want to customize those names, uh, you can that uh, you can do that easily. Uh, so go ahead uh, and head over to a navigation graph, and here just change the label uh, attribute here. So home, profile, and uh, settings. Okay. And now let's run our application once more. And uh, everything should work fine. Okay, so we have a home here, profile, and the settings. So now it uh, works perfectly fine, and also it looks very well. So uh, that will be all. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful, and uh, of course, see you in the next one.